Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to make this video as the first video in a series of videos that will be documenting my journey toward taking the USMLE Step 1 exam as an IMG. So I've actually been studying for the past few weeks and in this particular video I'll be sharing with you guys what has been working for me so far, what I've been using to prepare, and some of the materials I plan to incorporate over the coming months. Hopefully this information will help you figure out what materials or resources may or may not work for you, especially if you're an MBBS student like me, where our curriculum doesn't really focus on the high yield topics for USMLE Step 1 per se. By the way, if you are new to my channel, welcome! Thank you so much for clicking on this video, I really appreciate it. My name is Adun Aluren and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies and I started this channel a few weeks ago in an effort to create a safe space for medical students like me to feel seen and supported in their journeys. And if any of what I just said is of any interest to you, hopefully you'll consider hitting that subscribe button to become a part of my small but growing family here on YouTube. But without further ado, do, let's get started. So finally, let's get into materials and resources for preparing for step one. So the gold standard or the materials that are often recommended for preparing for step one would be considered the UFAP resources and they stand for UWorld, First Aid, and Pathoma. But there are many other resources and I'll share with y'all what I'm using right now and what I plan to incorporate as I go. So one of the materials that I'm currently using is the first aid textbook and it's a textbook that basically has all the high yield points that you're cautioned to know for step one. So the first aid textbook that I have is the 2018 version and that should tell you how long ago I was supposed to take this exam. But what I did with my first aid textbook which I purchased through Amazon I'll link it down below I'll link the 2020 down below um, but this is the 2018 and what I did was cut off the binding of the textbook and I put it in this binder so the reason why I did this is because having your first aid cut and hole punched and put into a binder allows you to kind of like incorporate your own notes throughout your first aid as you go along so i'll show you what i mean by that this is it <laughs> i have basically tabulated all of the sections i don't know if you can see it's biochem immunology micro b and so on and i have them sectioned off like that so i can keep myself organized and then as i write notes for those sections, I just incorporate them in and put them in. So that would be like the first aid page and my own notes right next to it. So something to note, I think, is the fact that first aid is kind of organized in bullet form. So it's just like all the high yield points that you need to know just put on the page. And to me, it's not readable without proper background context. So for that background information, if you will, I am using the online resource Boards and Beyond. So you've probably heard about Boards and Beyond, but if you haven't, Boards and Beyond is a subscription-based service that has quizzes and videos to help you do your comprehensive review for USMLE Step 1. So like I said, Boards and Beyond has videos and they're just basically lecture videos. And with your subscription to Boards and Beyond, you actually have access to those lecture notes in PDF form. And they also have those lecture notes available for purchase on Amazon. But if you have a subscription, you're actually able to get access to the PDF version of those lecture notes. And so what I've done, because like I said, I like to write notes, I've printed the PDF lecture notes for the sections that I'm studying at the time. So over the past few weeks, I've been reviewing musculoskeletal. And so I printed the PDF lecture notes this is how they look. It's literally like an undergrad when you would print your notes before you go to class, so you could write notes as the lecturer is teaching. So that's what I do as I am watching Boards and Beyond videos. So you'll see my notes throughout my lecture slides. And the reason why I did this is because before I decided to print this, 
I was actually writing out notes as I go along like each slide I was writing it out in detail and it was taking me about two to four hours per video to write notes like that so I decided to just go ahead and print it and it's allowed me to move through the videos much faster but still be able to take some sort of notes so I thought I should mention another popular subscription based service for your comprehensive review and that is Kaplan now for me I find Kaplan to be a snooze fest okay <laughs> for me the videos are too long so boards and beyond videos average about 20 minutes per video Kaplan videos tend to be longer because they're in more detail which is not a bad thing if you have the time go for it but for me I end up just falling asleep in long videos and I get discouraged because it really takes me a really long time to watch and feel like I'm learning and taking notes as well so if a 20 minute board and beyond video like I said could take me two hours to get through because I'm writing notes imagine how much longer it'll take me to get through a Kaplan video which is in much more detail and I used Kaplan back in the day when I was preparing for my MCAT I had the live subscription situation and I was sleeping in every single lecture. I was fast asleep in every single lecture and I just don't feel like I could risk that for my USMLE prep. So I'm not going for it, but people rave about Kaplan. So I thought it was definitely worth mentioning because that might be more of your alley. Another resource that I am using that I think is definitely worth mentioning here is Anki. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. A-N-K-I. I've seen on YouTube some people call it Anki some people call it Anki so basically what it is is a software that allows you to incorporate flashcards into your study regimen so Anki incorporates space repetition which has been shown in studies to increase your likelihood of remembering what you're studying so basically as you're using Anki and Anki shows you a flashcard and you do that flashcard and select whether that flashcard was easy or difficult for you to to answer. Anki will then show you that flashcard again based on whether you felt that card was easy or difficult for you. The more difficult the card is for you, the sooner Anki will test you on that card again. So in Anki, you're either able to create your own flashcard decks or download flashcard decks from the internet. So a resource that I plan to incorporate very soon in my study regimen is Pathoma. So apparently the pathology sections in that first aid textbook are not in depth enough for what you need to know in taking the USMLE. So a very good resource that people rave and rant about is Pathoma. So Pathoma is another subscription-based situation that comes with videos as well as a textbook. I have also heard of Golian or Golgen Audio being good for pathology as well, but I have yet to use them. But I thought they were worth mentioning here because a lot of people say that these audio lectures are really good when you're studying for pathology. The people who I've heard recommend Golian Audio say that they just listen to these audio lectures in the house or in their car while they're driving to school and it seems to be really good and work for them in that way so I thought it was worth mentioning. So I mentioned UWorld earlier. UWorld is the U in UFAP, okay? <laughs> Literally, I have not heard of any one person prepare for the USMLE Step 1 without incorporating UWorld into their studies. So what is UWorld? UWorld is a company that offers test prep and practice exams for different licensing exams one of them being USMLE Step 1. With regards to USMLE, UWorld has been known for offering really good question sets for practicing for the USMLE Step 1. So UWorld is really expensive. To access the UWorld question bank for just 30 days is $269 and the price goes up from there. So for me, I plan to incorporate UWorld a little later in my prep so that I'm not paying for a super long UWorld subscription and in the meantime, I'll be using things like Anki or other question banks um, as I study. So another resource that I plan to incorporate is the NBME self-assessment or the NBME practice USMLE exams. So what are NBMEs? NBMEs are full-length 
practice tests or self-assessments that resemble very closely the actual USMLE Step 1 exam because they are from the makers of the USMLE Step 1 exam. So these MBMEs are really good resources to take advantage of, not only to test yourself as you go and see where you're at with regards to your studying and your preparation, see where you are and how close you get into the score you want to get, but it's also really good in basically practicing your test taking strategies for test day. So just to recap, I've been using first aid for USMLE step one, Pathoma, Anki, and Boards and Beyond, and I plan to incorporate UWorld and MBMEs. So I will be coming back with updates to keep y'all posted, share with y'all what's working for me, what's not working for me, what's taking too long to get through, and so on and so forth. Pray for me, and if you are prepping for the USMLE Step 1 and maybe want a study partner or an accountability partner, comment down below or DM me on Instagram and we'll see what we can do. I love to have company during this thing for real. <laughs> if you have taken USMLE Step 1 or are preparing for it right now and you have any tips that'll help me or anyone else, please share them down below in the comments. And if this video provided any value to you at all or you think this will provide value to someone else you know, be sure to like this video and share it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every single time I post so that you could be updated as I continue to share this journey. Again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!